So I went to an organisation just outside in Bale in Uganda and it was called the Bushikori Christian Centre um, and it comprised of a school, a junior school and a primary school, a health centre, um, a maternity wing, a community library um, and some childcare development projects as well and it was um, a very inspiring place to be I have to say. Um, it taught me an awful lot about people generally um, and being a nurse by background um, when I went to the health centre because I could get involved almost immediately um, that made things I think much easier for me than perhaps some of my colleagues who've had placements. I think I didn't go in there with any preconceived ideas so I was very open to get my hands dirty in the first instance and to try and build up a rapport with everybody in the team and it struck me that that hadn't been done previously and I you know made it part of my um, role really out there to, to talk to everybody that was involved and to try and find out what they did and how that worked. I didn't have a lot of challenges because I think sometimes challenges are a state of mind um, but there were challenges within the organisation so if you work in a health centre and you haven't got running water for instance that is a very real challenge. So um, we sat down and talked about it and again didn't want to feel like I was there to impose anything but we talked about um, how they could um, collect water, rainwater, because it did rain when I was there, um, but also how we could use hand gels and sanitizers, which obviously has a resource implication, but they were purchasing soap anyway. So again, it was just about sitting down and talking through, you know, what, what did the people who worked in the organization see as the challenges? Because I was there for eight weeks and I wanted to make a big as impact as I possibly could but it wasn't about me, it was about them and, and how they would sustain some of that when I left. I had spent quite a lot of time thinking about what I would do when I was there and what influence I would have. And perhaps not, I hadn't realised that the influence that being there would have on me. And so the last couple of days were very sad. I really didn't want to leave. Um, I wanted to, to stay for a lot longer. So that was probably, you know, that sort of adjustment back to having to come home, really. I've worked in mental health service for 20 years. And when people said to me, it'll be life changing, I thought, I don't know what they're going on about. You know, I've seen it all, um, but it is. It, for me, it, as I said earlier, it kind of reawakened me and it gave me um, a renewed enthusiasm really to try to do better in the in the job that I do every day um, and I wasn't expecting that and I've done some great things over the years RCN leadership programs that I did a scholarship I went to the States through the Florence Nightingale but none of them had the effect on on me as a person and my professional development as this has um, I thought it was the most important professional development opportunity that I've ever taken part in. It is an opportunity where it looks at your values for being in public service and your values about being a person and being a caregiver for me. Um, and so that, you know, has, has an, you know, consequence and an effect really that for me was very, very positive and I can't imagine anyone go in and, and it not being positive for them, the outcome. I, I mean, I would be very um, eager to support anyone and I, I've spoken to people within my organisation. I don't think it's for everybody. I do think you have to be adaptable and flexible and you have to, to get the most out of it, you have to be in the right frame of mind for it. But it, it's almost one of those things that once you've done it, you think, actually, everybody, everybody should do this. Um, just to see what difference um, connecting with people and understanding a different point of view can, can do for you. Um, yeah, I, 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 th I do think that if you, 
if you've looked at it and read it, so you've got that seed of interest, then um, it, it, it really should be encouraged more. Um, and, I, you know, I, I think, obviously, from a health perspective, but also, you know, from the police and the fire service and, and other public services, really, because it, it really does go back to that understanding why, why we're here, what, what our roles are about and who they affect at the end of the day.